Liverpool needed a favour from Manchester United and they didn't get it. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side were beaten 2-0 by Manchester City on Wednesday, putting a dent in Liverpool's Premier League title hopes. City will win the title if they win their three remaining matches, which are against Burnley, Leicester and Brighton. Liverpool cannot give up hope, City have already been beaten by Leicester this season, as well as facing unlikely defeats at the hands of Crystal Palace and Newcastle, and they can take inspiration from certain matters. Burnley are unbeaten in four matches and held Man City to a 1-1 draw at Turf Moor last season. And manager Sean Ditch has a soft spot for Liverpool, having supported them as a child. Ditch revealed his admiration for Liverpool during the 1970s last month and Reds supporters are desperately hoping he can do them a favour on Sunday. My first recollection of them was at 7 years old, then at about 8 or 9 when you start zooming in on what it's really about Ditch told Lanks Live. Suis as well, and Ray Clements who I've met many times, what a fantastic player, no airs and graces. That whole Liverpool thing was quite a powerful thing in the 70s. Ditch wasn't able to travel to Anfield to watch Liverpool but he did play in front of the cop as a 15 year old. I got to play in front of the cop before Phil Neal's testimonial, they took local Northampton team we went up there and got 15 minutes each way Ditch added. I was a 70s child so everyone was a Liverpool fan but I lived in Kettering so I couldn't get up there all the time, I was a distant Liverpool fan. Sean Ditch has compared George Ern Klopp's attitude with that of the Liverpool team he watched as a boyhood Reds fan, and also accused Daniel Sturridge of a first-half dive. The Liverpool boss was unhappy with the Clarets sliding tackles during his side's 3-1 victory at Turf Moor on Wednesday and revealed he asked referee Stuart Atwill to curb the challenges despite accepting they were not fouls. But the Burnley boss, who again played down an apparent verbal joust with Klopp following the final whistle, responded, It's funny, he didn't reference Daniel Sturridge's cheating. I don't remember getting beaten by Man City and saying, Well they were a disgrace, they had 800 passes, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Dot. There's different ways of playing. You've got to try to win a game, and it's very, very difficult for us at the moment quite obviously. Dot Ditch, meanwhile, insisted there has been no meaningful approach for Tom Heaton regarding a January move but admitted the England keeper, who has had to play second fiddle to Joe Hart this season, could leave. There's a possible chance he said. Joe's done well on the whole but we have conceded a lot of goals. Tom's right in the thick of it and pushing constantly because of the top class pro that he is. 